switch your bank account. And don't worry if the answer is never, you are not alone. In fact, up to three in five Brits have never changed their bank account. Uh, Martin is here to explain why switching our accounts can be good for your bank balance. Martin, just before we start, Morning. lots of people have got in touch straight away saying various things which I'm sure you'd like to address. Lauren says, surely a long banking relationship is worth more than a quick buck. Sharon says, I'm with Nationwide, have been for 40 years. Linda says, I can't be bothered to go through all the faff of changing my bank. Helen says, I've been with the same bank all my life. What's the point if changing if it's just wages to paying bills? Trish said, there doesn't seem to be any benefit to staying loyal to a specific bank, which I think is your point. But a lot of people, their relationship with their bank isn't usually seen as something that they can change quickly because it takes, well, certainly it takes a long time to get to know your bank, to get mm. to know your bank manager. I know things have changed oh, somewhat over the years. Yes, sorry. But with, regard, but with regards to what get they're saying... Get to know saying, your bank manager. When, no, 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 but that's my in, point. Get that, to know your bank manager. Yeah, 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 no, in that, the 1970s. That, that was, no, exactly, but that was my point. That's what people sort of always felt that they had this relationship with their bank, they knew their private bank or they knew their bank manager, and so they didn't want to change. It's a very different landscape now, though, isn't it? Absolutely, and most people bank online. Now, look, the, I was going to start this by saying, if you love your bank, it gives you great service, you're happy with it, and it tickles your toes whenever you want it to, there's no need to change. But the whole point is, right now, there are four banks who are willing to pay you, bribe you legally, if you like, to switch. So if you feel just, my bank is, huh, it's neither good nor bad, then you may as well get paid to switch. You may as well make money from it. And there are some people who make about a grand a year from regularly switching bank accounts. Now, what actually happens here is I'm talking about the financial terms of banking. Again, if you have a very good customer service relationship, specific bespoke needs to stay with your bank, then don't bother. Uh, but... It's worth knowing what's out there. And so many people find it really, really easy to switch bank. Last time I polled on it, it was over 80% said it's easy and hassle-free. Many of the people who've had a bad experiences were before they brought in seven-day switching, which was, you know, about a decade ago. And it was a nightmare now. Then, now, to switch, you go through the bank's seven-day switching service, seven working days, actually, so it takes about 10 days. They move your balance over for you. They move standing orders over for you. They move direct debits over for you. They close your old account and any money paid into the old account is then automatically forwarded to the new one. So actually it is a pretty seamless process that happens very easily without much hassle. So if you feel you want some free cash right now, and, and that's really what this is about. It wasn't mm. about meant to be about switching bank accounts. It was meant to be about getting free cash from switching bank accounts. And that's really the nub. Because three weeks ago, there was nothing. The first time since the pandemic, there was nothing. No accounts that paid you to switch. Now they're back. And how quickly do they pay, Martin? Uh, it depends on the account. So after you've switched, so that's about 10 working days, some right. pay within a week, some it takes about a month or two months. So you'll have the money in your bank account pretty quickly. Okay. Let me run through the best ones for you, what's available out there at the moment so people can get it. I'll do it in order of the upfront cash you get for switching. Mm -hmm. So NatWest RBS is the top payer. It gives you £200 to switch, so 200 quid in your hand, which will be very useful for many people. It also gives you £36 a year cash back. What actually happens is... You, you pay it a fee of £2 a month and it gives you cash back of £5 a month as long as you hit some very basic criteria like having a couple of direct debits going out and checking, making sure you check in the app once a month. So that's an extra 36 quid on top. Then you've got the new one that has just launched, which is the Santander Edge account. It's been around a while as being one of my top picks as a bills account as it gives you cash back on the bills you pay for it. Council, water, mobile, broadband, you get 1% cash back of the cost of your bills. But now it's also giving £185 on top for switchers. Now, that costs you £3 a month. But for someone with typical bills, you'll probably make 80 to 100 quid a year, even after the fee, just from getting the cash back on your bills. Now, there's a couple of more. I'm not going to dot all the I's and cross all the T's. All of these have eligibility criteria. But frankly, that's not good telly. So look at that <laughs> yourself. You've got Lloyd's which is a free £175 with perks like Disney Plus for a year. And you've got HSBC, which is a free £100. Um, but, and you can get £10 a month from that, but there's a lot of hoops to jump through to get the £10 a month. So there's four banks willing to pay people yeah. to switch at the moment. And, you know, if you're not, as I say, if you're happy with your bank, don't do it. If you're not happy with your bank, why not grab some free cash? If you're saying it doesn't really make any difference, well, get paid for it not to make any difference. The only warning, I think one of your questioners at the top, I think they mentioned something about a long-term relationship. Mm. 
in terms of your credit file, having a decent long-term relationship with your bank can be beneficial for credit. And of course, applying for a bank, you will have to pass a, a not too harsh credit score. So if you were just about to make a mortgage application or to do something really important credit-wise, I wouldn't do this in the three to six months before that. Okay. But if you've got nothing going on credit-wise, then switching bank accounts is a very lucrative way to make money. And, okay. and, and I think you said that some people make £1,000 a year doing this, so you could, you could switch your bank more than once. You can switch it over and over again if you fancy. Yeah, I mean, that's where we take it from sort of GCSE level to degree level in <laughs> terms of the sort of money savviness that you need. I mean, there are people out there who have mule accounts. That's what we call them, where you set up a, a bank account, which you're basically only using as an account that you can switch and switch and switch, and you fulfill the minimum criteria. Some people have numbers of bank accounts running at the same time, and they have spreadsheets so that you can meet the minimum pay in each month, which is something some banks have where you have to put certain amounts of yeah. money in it. So yes, you can repeatedly switch, that can have an impact on your credit file, but lots of people aren't doing any form of borrowing. But yeah, I've got lots of people on my team and lots of people who get in touch with me to say, you know, I've just made a thousand, twelve hundred pounds. I did all these switches and I got my I got my partner to do all the switches as well. And we got the kids who were over 18 to do all the switches. And between us, we've made three grand in a year. So, I mean, it can be very lucrative, but for the multiple switching, you know, to be a serial switcher, that, that takes a different level of effort and working through the terms and conditions. It can be fun, though, when there is information online about how to do that more easily. And what current accounts are offering the best rate of interest at the moment? Well, current accounts tend not to offer best rates of interest, but the, the switching cash is the really thing to focus on right now, the stuff right. that I've been through. The Santander 185, NatWest 200, Lloyds 175 and HSBC 100. But look at the other perks as well, too. OK. Martin, we're out of time, unfortunately. We've got some questions, but we'll hold on to those questions because they'd still be relevant for us to talk to you okay. about uh, next week. Lovely to see you, though, this morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Martin. Thank you. Bye-bye.